Hey everyone, and welcome to Counter Buzz. I'm Greg Rosink, and I'm here today with Dan from Grow Up Green Walls. Dan, tell us a little bit about your company and what it is that you guys do at Grow Up Green Walls. Uh, Grow Up Green Walls is a living wall provider. Um, we produce a, a solution to enable clients to put walls and living walls vertically inside their residences, inside their businesses, outside the businesses, um, wherever they like. Um, but it's bringing the outdoors in or the indoors out and creating <laughs> living walls in, uh, in lots of different locations. It's super, super fun and, uh, and our clients are loving it. Okay. How did you guys get started? Give me a little bit of the background, the juice, the history of, of your company and where it started. The company started about nine or ten years ago in South Africa. Um, doing this, the exact same thing, bringing um, the outdoors in and mm -hmm. bringing living walls and greenery and plants in, in the environment, inside businesses and offices and lobbies of, of their businesses. Um, and, and the challenge in, in South Africa is that the labor market is pretty simple and very transient. So they've spent really the last 10 years in taking the product and simplifying it and making it easier to install easier to explain to clients how to install it, and easier to maintain. So we've really focused on making it a simpler, easier solution to implement and to install inside or outside. Okay, so this is a great product that it really brings that outside, that love of nature and that love of landscape indoors so you can enjoy it even when you're sitting at your desk or in a, a lobby and entering a building is that right absolutely okay absolutely maybe a corporate building so yeah. is this what i'm hearing from your business is that you don't just serve um, commercial clients but you also do residential clients as well is that we're, we're serving all the markets residential yes businesses yes we're doing a lot in hospitality and in hospitals and environments where kids are, where creative adults are, um, where troubled people are. There's lots of studies out that indicate the health benefits of, of living walls and green walls and plants on, on, on the health of humans. Obviously, it oxygenates air and, and it brings a humidity wow. to it. And it just brings this calming effect, which promotes creativity. And, and it's super fun. So we're seeing it in all the environments. It's small walls, big walls, tall walls, wide walls, it really doesn't matter. It really depends on the environment and the, the place that the client is looking to bring some greenery inside. Wow, so a lot of variety. You're actually custom making these to the environment that it's going to live in. It's not just a one and done, one off type of thing, yeah? No two walls are alike. Okay. You know, we have green walls going around columns. We have them going up escalators. We have them on, on curved walls. We have them on arches and we have them on staircases going up. So I don't think there's two walls we've done in 10 years that are the same dimensions and the same plant palette or any of it, you know, which makes it really yeah. fun because every project is a little different. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, we collaborated with you on actually building the green wall for our set that's behind us right here. Um, we worked with them, great company to work with, great energy, everything went off smoothly. And I want to talk about a little bit of that collaboration. Was this something that you guys talked a long time about or was this something that we kind of initiated and it was just very natural and flowing? You know what, it was pretty natural and flowing. There's a number of pieces that we talked about being in a warehouse environment. So we're, we're always going to look at the air, the temperature, um, the lighting, um, the, uh, the size and the shape, the substrate and the, the wall in which we're applying this to, which we have a couple different options or a couple different things we did here. Mm -hmm. So we look at how do we water, how do they get lights, and then we, mix the, we, we match the plant palette to the environment that the wall is going to be in. And there's lots of options on, on plants and lots of options on how we water it and how, um, how the wall is going to go up. So it was, it was, a, it was a, fairly, I mean, a fairly easy process in designing what we're going to do here. It took a little bit of time just because, uh, you know, it, it takes time to do things, but okay. it, was, uh, it was pretty straightforward. So what I'm hearing really is that you're customizing the plant selection in your green wall to, uh, to survive and thrive in the atmosphere it's going in. So if you're going outside, you're going to have plants that do well with natural UV lighting from the sun, and if you're indoors, there's a solution for indoor light or indoor plants that don't require that same sort of intense UV light that you would get from the sun. And actually, 
with our set here, we worked with a company uh, that we own here at Hunter Industries called Home Lighting. And they actually customized a lighting color to kind of give the nutrients to the plants that they needed. Is that right? Absolutely. Because even though we're indoors and we're in this environment and this kind of temperature and climate, there's lots of different plants. Now, what do we want? What are, you, what are you looking for? And that's the fun part with working with clients and working with Hunter is that we got to talk about what do you want? What are you looking for? Are you looking for broad leafy things? You want small things? You want wide things? You want flowering things or not? So there's a huge array of plants that can go in this environment or could go outside. Um, are they going to get sun? Are they going to get, uh, you know, just natural lighting? So it's really fun to do that. And working with experts like you guys here, it was really fun, especially when we got to, you know, bring in the lights that fed the plants with what they need. It was really fun and really that's, neat. And that's what it's all about is creating flexibility in, in a product like this and, and figuring out how we can make it work so that we can bring that enjoyment to the hospitals and the places that you were talking about before where it just enriches the quality of life when you're in these situations that you typically don't want to find yourself or so don't necessarily <laughs> enjoy being in or something like that. Yeah, exactly. So talk, let's talk about the demand in the industry. You talked about you created a product that was more simplified uh, so that it was easier to get this in more places. Can we talk about the demand that you're seeing in our industry today? The demand is, is really growing dramatically in the last couple years because the market now sees a product that is, is fairly simple to install and simple to um, maintain. And, and it's, really, it's really a do-it-yourself kind of product if you wanted to. Um, we typically have been relying on green walls in the United States have been installed by landscape contractors or contractors. And, and now we're bringing it down to such a simple level that I installed mine at my house a couple years ago, and it's, it's fun and it's easy. Um, I want some of the Hunter Smart technology in my <laughs> wall that we have here. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's, uh, it's super fun, and it's, uh, it's, it's, um, it, the demand is just getting really big because it's easier to install. And there's no engineering that needs to be done behind the scenes before you put the wall up. Our system doesn't carry much weight. We can apply it to any wall. We just waterproof it, and you're really good to go. Wow, that's, that's fantastic. And, and you brought up that technology factor of using our technology. One of the things that we did with our green wall here is that we automated the irrigation system with our HydroWise uh, software platform, our, our irrigation control that's Wi-Fi enabled, so that we can get alerts if our recycled water system here uh, goes low and the basins run low on water. Right. So we'll get a notification that we need to fill those back up and we'll also get notifications that the plant material is ready to be irrigated so that we can actually fine tune the irrigation scheduling for the plant material to make sure it thrives and lives as long as possible. That's and super fun. And stays green and awesome like it is right now. That's super fun. Yeah, you know, so. Yep. You have some some, that? So we're, we're super interested in integrating your solution into our walls and our, our platforms we put out to clients because some of our walls are up high and, and are difficult to get to. So if we can be monitoring that through your platform to see it, that would be really, that would be really key. And I mean that home automation technology these days is really popular. So if you're going into a, a residential atmosphere with a wall like this, it's something that people enjoy is having automated capabilities of everything in their house. So they want to know that the landscape in their house is healthy as well as the landscape outside of their house. And right. so it's manageable from both avenues. Without doubt. Yeah. Without doubt. So, now, if we have an indoor type of setup, what type of irrigation are you typically using to irrigate the walls? Really, we're using the same irrigation um, recycling solution that we use outside. We just do things, <coughs> excuse me, a little differently inside to protect the environment around it just in case water spills or something like that. So um, we'll bring a water feed into um, the system and, and depending on the environment, depending on the size of the wall and depending on who's taking care of it, we can either automate it or create a, a manual valve where uh, the user would open the valve, watch it fill up and turn it off. So it depends on um, whether it's residential or commercial and whether there's a plant maintenance company taking care of it or the homeowner is, uh, is you know, more active in it. Mm -hmm. And it really depends, but the recycling solution um, enables, uh, you know, we bring a water feed into it that'll automatically fill it up and, and keep it full. 
So bring in your smart technology to keep an eye on it from uh, you know, remote would be a nice thing too. Yeah, it would be a nice yeah. touch. Yeah, without a doubt. So in a more commercial outdoor type of atmosphere, are we gonna see that this irrigation of the green wall can be tied into the irrigation system of the rest of the property as well? Absolutely. Um, so if we're installing in a commercial environment and there's an irrigation system set up, we can use the irrigation system and the clock and the timer, a part of that irrigation system, to feed our system and to feed the wall and to maintain the wall. That's one way to do it. The other is we have some pumps that we can put in, and, but we need electricity at the location to use independent pumps. So d again, depends on the environment, what's there, what's not there, and what are the capabilities that exist. If we can use existing technology and add an additional zone and let the clock and the timer um, of the system manage the wall, then that's great. If they don't have that, then we, we have a solution that we can put in place as well. Okay. Well, you know, I think that our customers, your customers, are really going to benefit from the information that we talked about here today. So I really appreciate you joining me today, Dan. Absolutely. That was um, super fun. To kind of sum up what we talked about, the information here with green walls and the, the joy that it brings to people, the applications of indoor, outdoor, commercial, residential, we touch a lot of different parts of the market here. And it's simple, it's sustainable and it's a, it brings a good quality of life. So I think we talked about a lot of enriching topics today and I really appreciate you all stopping by and I, we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of CounterBuzz.